Hi everyone! My name is Domenico Foschi. I am a fine art photographer living and working in the Los Angeles area. Born and raised in Italy 20 years ago, I moved uh, to the US where to these days I have developed seven portfolios, one of which is Lingering Past, the project I will be presenting to you. I started to take uh, uh, pictures roughly 30 years ago and uh, since I started, of course, in those years there was no digital technology to, uh, to uh, investigate, so the only way to deal with photography, with black and white photography, was to have a dark room. And uh, as soon as I started, uh, started I, um, you know, as, as, as a kid, you start uh, having temporary dark room in bathrooms or uh, spare rooms, and then uh, with my moving here in the United States I found a wonderful place where I could actually uh, set up a permanent dark room. So here we have an enlarger, this is a 4x5 inch enlarger, it enlarges from 35 millimeters to 4x5 inches negative. Uh, this is where you put the negative and uh, by clicking the light I can actually uh, regulate it and transmit the image on the, on, the, on the silver paper. Silver paper, yes, uh, this is what the photography medium is about, it is about silver. The silver is a light sensitive material and uh, uh, either film or paper are both coated with uh, uh, a silver gelatin. But uh, after the paper has been uh, impressed with the image, with, with the latent image, then uh, the sheet will go into a series of chemicals to develop the image, stop the developing uh, action, and then to fix the image for a permanent, uh, for, for permanence. Um, of course, there are other techniques after that. I do sepia tone a lot. I, I do my own sepia toning and uh, um, which is a very prevalent hue uh, in, my, in my images. So you, you will be able to see in the slideshow. Lingering Past came to birth because of my need to record places and moments after many years of absence from Italy. This is undoubtedly a project that reveals a very personal direction. It is a renewed view of my whole surroundings filtered through the emotion created by a newfound awareness of losses in my childhood. It is a diary of memories translated into images where a longing for a personal and social simpler life is evident in the choice of subject matter, compositions, tonalities and general mood. Looking through the camera ground glass, I realized that this physical past defined time and rendered even more beautiful by the elements acted as a mirror in me. It allowed me to reach areas of my past experiences thanks to the human dimension it exuded. And similarly, as I was walking the urban areas and landscapes I was photographing, I started to realize that the past manifested in these man-made old structures were lifting questions as to what degree we as humanity are farther away from our nature. Is progress, commercialism, technology going to provide the boost for a radical change through an adaptation process? Or is our essence unchangeable, always needing that human dimension required to grow in a more balanced manner? And if the latter is true, do we realize the power of the conflict within ourselves that awaits us? Where the title Lingering Past in the personal interpretation of the project signifies a psychological journey encouraged by the warmth and familiarity of the environment, in the other social cultural context sees the obstinate evidence of the past as a powerful anchor in tension with the present. It is through your generosity that I hope to continue and end this project of which I have already shown the first part at the gallery of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, other venues and galleries, and that has been featured in the March-April 2008 issue of Silver Shots magazine. The project to these days has 21 images, but it's my goal to reach at least 100 chosen works. At completion, I will want to work with Scott Canty, the art curator for the city of Los Angeles, 
on a show of lingering past. And then, through other funding, I will work toward publishing the images in a fine art photography book, which is a cherished outlet for my project. I have worked hard to minimize the cost of lodging and food by relying on connections throughout Italy. Much of the money collected will be used for film, the increasingly more expensive silver paper, processing of images in my darkroom, framing and travel. I hope you will be moved by the work that you have seen and that I will be honored by your support. I have thought of very exciting thank you gifts for your pledges. Check the option in my Kickstarter page. I am offering a combination from postcards, posters in limited edition, um, original prints, or original silver prints that I intend to issue on a, a Kickstarter edition, an exquisite small 4x5 print framed in a, a high grade wood molding, very beautiful and uh, also uh, for the most generous supporters uh, I will be offering five matted uh, silver prints 11 by 14 size the image and 16 by 20 for the matte size um, encased in a portfolio case. Thank you very much for your attention I'm looking forward to see your overwhelming support for, for this project. Thank you. <laughs>